Hey guys, Shakra is here for another in-depth League informative and today we'll be taking a look at Burning Items, a title that I found very fitting since last week's episode was about Snowball Items, but enough of that, let's get started. So to start let's look at the item compositions and effectiveness real fast just to show the difference. Sunfire is more of a defensive item, giving health and armor. Leandris is more suited towards the typical mage, giving AP and penetration. Uh, Spirit of the Elder Lizard is mostly used on some aggressive junglers, like Hecarim or Kale, giving monster damage increase, health and mana regen, and attack damage. Out of the three items, we can see that only Spirit of the Elder Lizard is cost efficient, and remember that these calculations do not take into account passives. Sunfire Cape's cost efficiency is 0.75, meaning you paid an extra 25% to get the stats given, meaning that for the time for the item to be cost efficient, the passive has to be worth 656 gold, which is the remaining 25%. Leandris is quite similar, and the cost efficiency is around 0.775. For the item to be considered cost efficient, the passive has to be worth 652 gold. Elder Lizard's cost efficiency is 1.14, or if you prefer the stats given are worth an extra 14% when compared to the price of the item. We're not even taking into account the passives, so it's clearly cost efficient. However, the item has been nerfed three consecutive times, so it used to be much stronger. Now let's take a look at how the damage is dealt. Sunfire Cape deals 40 magic damage per second to nearby enemy targets. This works similarly to Shivana's Burnout. Since Sunfire Cape deals magic damage, the, magic is, the damage is reduced by magic resist, but can also be increased by magic penetration and or magic resist, uh, resistance reduction. This effect will not proc the Spellblade Mastery, but it will actually proc the Morellonomicon's passive, Grievous Wounds. Leandri's Torment uh, applies a dot effect that deals bonus damage equal to 2% of the target's health per second. The bonus damage is doubled if the enemy's movement is impaired, hence the synergy it has with Spellcaster with a lot of crowd control and Realized Crystal Scepter that will make every single spell slow your target and deal double damage. How Leandri's works is it does 1% of current health each half a second for 3 seconds, effectively ticking 6 times. If the target has its movement impaired, it will do 2% current health uh, each half a second. Spirit of the Elder Lizard deals 6 to 40 true damage when you hit an enemy with a basic attack or spells that do not inflict damage over time. So the Incinerate passive deals 4 plus 2 times your level uh, in true damage over 3 seconds. However, contrary to popular belief, persistently damaging area of effects such as Singe's Poison Trail or Nasus's Spirit Fire will actually proc the damage and refresh it whilst the enemy is being damaged by this skill. So just to finish off I'd like to show you some footage of using all three of these items at the same time. I decided to use a Moo Moo because the true damage passive on Elder Lizard actually works with his despair, his uh, AoE. Now uh, it might not make much sense to build attack damage and to build Spirit of the Elder Lizard on a Moo Moo. I did it purely for showcasing, and I wouldn't advise you building it unless you're just trolling around or just having fun in normal games, which is my case. Uh, this is a normal game we lost. I actually didn't do too poorly, but uh, yeah. Uh, so he's dealing magic damage based on current health with Leandris when he uses any kind of spell. He's doing true damage when he uses any spell or auto attack, and this includes despair. And he's also uh, doing magic damage when enemies are close to him with Sunfire Cape's passive. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video and enjoyed the similarities and differences between all these items. The next informative video will probably be about jungling items because a new patch is coming and I really want to cover all three of them. And after that I'll probably move on to the poll options on Facebook. Uh, second in the poll was uh, IG which is Iceborne Gauntlet versus Trinity Force, so that's probably going to be the second episode, uh, I mean the next episode, so um, I'll see you guys later, Shakra is signing out.